Hello and welcome everyone here. We are back for some more Legacy action. Today we are playing a Patreon submitted decklist in Legacy for, for our Patreon, Mason. Now he submitted a Bant Snow Miracles decklist featuring recently banned modern star Uro. Um, so basically here's the rundown of the list. We're playing 21 lands. Bunch of snow lands. Of course, two trops. Two Tundras. Um, no Savannah, because we don't really care about the uh, green-white land. One Carpet of Flowers in the main board, which for those who don't know what Carpet of Flowers is, at the beginning of each of your main phases, if you haven't added mana with this ability this turn, you may add X mana and any of any one color, where X is the number of islands target opponent controls. So it's going to let us make a lot of mana, depending on what our opponent's playing, which can come in handy with Uro and... Jace, Sharp Typhoon, stuff like that. Uh, we also have four Swords of Plowshares, four Brainstorms, four Ponders, one Portent. Uh, look at the top three cards of your library, of uh, target player's library, put them back in any order. You may have that player shuffle their library, draw a card at the beginning of the next turn's upkeep. So basically, it is a Ponder with a delayed draw. One Spell Pierce. One Snappy, two Sylvan Libraries, two Ice Fang Quaddles, four Force of Wills, one Council Adjustment, three Force of Negations, one Narset Part of the Veils, two Teferi Time Ravelers, three Uro Titan of Nature's Wrath, two Jace Mind Sculptors, one Shark Typhoon, and two Terminus. Sideboard, two Aetherstorm Canonists, one Meddling Mage, two Surgical Extractions, one Wilt, two Veil of Summer, an additional Carpet of Flowers, two Engineering Explosives, two Relic of Progenitus, and two Back to Basics. Back to Basics is one of my favorite cards, and a card I... Still really hope gets printed into modern in Modern Horizons 2. Or at least some iteration of Back to Basics would be super cool. Um, I don't so much like Blood Moon effects because Blood Moon effects... Blood Moon itself sh actually just turns them into mountains. So Back to Basics, you can shock yourself and get one activation out of that land. Or one use out of that land before it's tapped. But also if you have a way to untap your land, say Arbor Elf, you can still play it. I think it'd be cool to have, um, it's still good against stuff like Tron, but it also, uh, isn't as hosing as Blood Moon is. So, at least that's my opinion. Um, of course the decks that play it are much more likely to hurt themselves than Blood Moon decks are. Most Blood Moon decks are typically going to be m entirely unaffected or mostly unaffected. To go back to basics, you can lock yourself out of a couple lands every now and then. Um, but yeah. So, we're going to go and hop into this. Oh, did I mention two Terminus? I don't know if I remember if I said that or not. Anyway, we're going to hop into this and see how it goes. Um, very excited to see how it goes. So, let's go and hop in around one here. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you guys want to see your deck play on the channel, go ahead and check out my Patreon in the description below. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in round one. Alrighty, we're on the draw. Um, see, the thing is, I don't like this hand because we don't have... We're, we're going to be pretty stuck if they have Wasteland. But I guess all in all, our hand is actually really, really strong against a lot of the field. Ah, it's going to probably be Delver. No, nope, not Delver. Okay. Force of Will. Right, well, I'm pretty happy with that. Hmm. Fuck me. I guess we could have brainstormed. But. Well, now we're going to have to brainstorm if they wasteland us again. Yeah, that's super annoying. That's You see, that's, the worst part here is, like, we're literally a deck that plays so many. I'm going to spell pierce this. Alright, well, that fucks my plan. I was kind of hope I was hoping they were gonna miss a land drop and we were gonna spell pierce them off their ponder. Um, well, there is arguably the worst basic in our deck, but a basic. Yep. Sure. Fetch. Hmm. 
Hmm. Young Pyromancer. I'm gonna brainstorm. Uh, okay, let's put. I don't think we really want Uro. We are forcing this because we just don't have an answer to that threats at the moment. I don't want to fetch away the Uro that much, but I am going to. So we want to try to resolve this. Oh, we're getting stifled. Man, if I got a force of will to stifle here, I'm going to be so pissed. Yeah, got a force of will to stifle. Snow covered island. All right, well, on the bright side is we know they have land and two unknown. I figured we get dazed. Under. Looking for a swords. We found one. Do not shuffle. Let's play around spell pierce too. Alright. We got snappy on top. We'll snap and s probably ponder. I don't think we'll brainstorm hmm. all right snappy day all right well I guess I'm already doing this yeah so if they have a counter spell for it I can't do anything about it um I want to preface this by saying I don't know if I'm making the best plays here but I'm trying to I think we're gonna port in ourselves. Yikes, fork bolt. Okay. Two cards in hand. I'm gonna port in myself. Eesh. Yeah, we'll shuffle. Draw a card from both. I would prefer the ponder. I preferred ponder land land, I think, but eh. All right, yeah, we're in trouble. Although they haven't been firing off their spells recently. Oh, that's that's straight up bad for us. Right, so if we draw an Uro, we're only away from Uro, getting away from them. Double Pyro. Do you attack for two, risking the Quaddle? Ooh, gutsy. I like it. Uh, 
So we can hard cast force without having to crack the fetch land for it. I mean, I can't do anything about these tokens, and I'm not going to force a bolt here. Four, five, six. Although we are in desperate need of terminus or something. Okay, I don't like losing that matchup. That's not a matchup I think we should lose. Um, I think Relic's in consideration. They look just like blue-red, right? We didn't see any other... Stuff... This is definitely a matchup where I think forces just need to come out. I think they're just way too much of a liability. Two for wanting ourselves so much is just not, not really good in this matchup. Now, cutting all the forces might be a little too aggressive. I can definitely admit to that. But, given the fact that we know what deck they're playing, I don't think keeping the forces is the best decision. Because it's going to come down to card quality and quantity. 100%. They were able to stop the pieces of our deck that were mattered. We weren't able to stop the parts of theirs. Alright, I'm going to keep this. We're going to grab a basic island, because islands around the world. Ponder. Explosives. I think we're just looking for threats. Delver of Secrets. Nope. Apparently I just want to leave up Stifle. Huh. Nope. Just going to brainstorm in a turn there. All right. Hmm. Interesting decision. Getting fucking stifled. Every fucking time. Every fucking time. No flip. All right, that's good for us. Mm-hmm. So they're going to set it up so that Delver flips for sure next turn. I guess maybe I should have fetched in response to the Brainstorm to avoid getting stifled again.
Island, Forest, Uro. Put you into play. Snow covered. Get you out of here. All right. Well, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Next turn, we can go Tropic into Uro. Force them to have... Okay, they have a Ponder. They can't wait. And they, they can waste on our Tropic then, but I'm okay with that, I think. We also knew they were going to flip Delver this turn for sure. I imagine now they're digging for their counter spell so they can counter Earl on the way down. Well, honestly, next turn I kind of almost want to just Teferi bounce this. See how that goes? And then not play the trop, protect it. They did shuffle. Yeah, let's reveal Terminus. Yep. All right, let's try this. Leave plowshares and ponder. All right, that really sucks. Um, because now we're gonna get our trop wasted off. I still think that was the right play to make, though. Yeah, I mean. There you go, Forger. Nice. Delver or Teferi. Wow. Holy shit. I think we fucking lose. Yep, I think we're gonna lose this one, folks. I think we're gonna lose this one. We're gonna attack us, get Force and Will back. No, they put back Ponder. Okay. In theory, we could do something to get rid of this stupid Forger. But I'm going to need... I need Swords to Plowshares. They do not shuffle. <laughs> Fuck me. Go there. Earl. <sighs> Fucking kill me. Important. Do not shuffle. Pass my turn. Upkeep, we're going to swords that. Or at least attempt to. They probably have a counter spell. Nope, they don't. Okay. Forger's gone. There's a sprite. That's fine. We're going to draw a veil on top. Ah, I shouldn't have put veil on top, should I? I should have put the land. Shit, I think I should have put the land. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. We could have not activated it, but I think I like activating it here better. Um, if they're going to bolt it down or something, that's fine. Good with me. All that does is stop us from getting another card, and they traded a card for basically half of one. I'm going to ponder. I don't think I mind the... Library or the Teferi? Yep. There's that. They can replay it. Oh, I was going to fetch shit. I was supposed to fetch in response to that. Oops. Oh, well. I forgot I really didn't want Veil of Summer. Oh, well. Or even Spell Pierce. Yep. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yes. Put on top. Can do. On top of library. On top of library. Shark Typhoon. And last I checked, the blue red deck shouldn't have a way of beating Shark Typhoon. Our opponent apparently agrees. Yeah, they're gonna run it back. Yeah, they they have too many basics for a back to basics to be effective. And their wastelands are almost never gonna be tapped. They can be. Or they're not being used, but they'll most likely never be tapped. At least in a way that we can catch them tapped. Um other than that, I don't know. It wasn't too bad. It was not too bad of a turn. It's going to be a long one. Definitely going to be a long one. Ugh. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Yeah, I like the one of Shark Typhoon. Um, I like a lot of what this list is doing, to be honest. I think it's just really powerful, really... Excuse me. Really good stuff. But what do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm personally a fan of decks like this. Also, not sure EE's good. Through a Forger seems like a beast to... Although this deck has felt like typical legacy, just every time you need a sword supply of shares, you somehow find it. 
Nah, we're sending this one back in a heartbeat. Miss Sanctuary is the worst card in our deck. This one's actually worse. I mean... I'm not particularly happy about this hand, but... It's fine. We're gonna ponder for... We're gonna ponder for removal. Although we'll take probably it's probably take something like Uro. Pfft, well, never mind, we're just looking for. Oh, I do love Meet the Fairy though. Doesn't work. Okay. Yeah, let's shuffle. Carpet of Flowers. Ooh, I like that one. That's a good draw. It's going to make us lots of mana. Here's the one they don't catch us with... Uh, Interesting. Do you have a counter spell? Because we do know for a fact that they kept theirs in. They got a forest of their own. This can be hard to beat. To fairy, we might have been able to beat it with. I don't know about without. They pitch. They pitch a ponder. That's bad too. Mm -hmm. Threw two cards. Jesus. Yeah, we need to draw a removal spell here. I'm gonna pass like this. Oh. That's right. That's how that works. I would like to. I'd like to make green. Yep. Okay. an interesting art for Sylvan Library. I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, it's cool. But for me personally, I don't think I like it. I kind of like this older, more library feeling art better. Wasteland me. Sweet. Sprite Dragon, sweet. Mm-hmm. Sure. I drew another card with Sylvan Library, too. Uh, spells can't be counted as turn you permanence you control gain hexproof. Nope, fucking... 
I think we lose this one. That was a weird fucking time for them to do that, but I think we lose this one. No, nope. I'll say unless they fuck up and leave the one in our graveyard, I think we lose. Doesn't matter. I guess we can play the island, but we're pretty dead here. Yep, they just had the surgical and they needed it. And we didn't have spell pierce, unfortunately. If we had spell pierce, we would have been in great shape, I think. Hmm. I mean, I'm definitely ready to pack it in and consider this in a loss. I don't know how we're getting out of this. They're hitting us for four or five a turn at least. We should be at 17. Sure. I guess. Yeah, I mean, this is not all the situation I wanted to be in. We definitely wanted to have a little bit more. Yeah, I'm going to spell pierce that. Two, three, four, five, six. Again, they have three cards in hand. The Sylvan Library, just letting them dig so deep in their deck every turn. I think we're just done. I think we have one turn left to hit Terminus, and that's it. They went to two. Maybe they kept double bolt. I'd certainly fucking end it. And I know the last card in my hand is Veil of Summer. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, just gotta cast one more spell. Let's see. Alright. We're trying to hit Terminus to Miracle it, but we lose. On to round two. Alrighty. On the play. With a pretty lackluster one. I think I'm going to keep it. So that access to Force and everything so we still can stop a combo deck from going off on us I'm going on strength because I don't want to get wastelanded off my tundra
Looks like this Force Negation is going to get some use out of it after all. Well, I guess they cast a... I guess they cast, like, Legion War Boss or something, or... Goblin Rabble Master, we could be in trouble. P and Kirin, okay. That we care about heavily. That's a very different conversation than what we were just talking about. Yeah. Also, Terminus doesn't feel like it's going to be a good card here. Carpet of Flowers is also coming out. Because it does nothing against the basic mountain deck. Um, Island. So I got force off of force pitching spell pierce if I need to. New. Bottom it. And nope. Yep. True one anyway. Attacking one at Jace. Mm hmm. One at me, okay. I will to reveal Terminus. Also love to cast it. I'd like to draw two extra cards. Um, I'll keep that one. One plus you. Blood Moon. Oh no. Mm. Now you can keep Blood Moon. It's fine with me. It will cut us off our white, but that's all right. Mm. Well, well, well. Um. Top, top, play you. I guess we'll brainstorm. I'll put you two back. Boom. Mm-hmm. 
Chalice on one. See, that's a different conversation. Okay, we know the top two cards are Carpet and Tundra. I mean, good on our opponent to keep playing here, I guess. Brainstorm. Put you two on top. Guess we'll do that. Okay. I was gonna say we we're gonna be here a while, opponent. I'm about to slam I'm about to put uh Uro into play, so we want ease, I think we want Wilt. Back to basics seems bad. Carpet of Flower is definitely not a card we want. Neither is good old Terminice. Um Back to Basics with some kind of search mode directions. No, I think this is good. This is <coughs> um, this is definitely a counter spells matchup. Forces and stuff are definitely important here. So this hand's interesting, right? Because it only has one land, which is a downside. But we do have two. Really, really impactful counter spells. And they have a glass cannon hand like they did last game where they just do nothing for so many turns. We can probably draw into a spell that matters, right? Alright, I'm a sucker. Boom. See, look at that. We're already almost there. Here we go, opponent. You got three cards left. Did you have that much gas in your hand? They actually might have, to be honest. That seems pretty good. Chalice on Uno. Oh, no. Always yes, always yield. You know what? We're just going there. Yep. Obviously, we did that so we could have Force Negation up in case they try to... I don't know what they could do here, but we wanted to be able to counter whatever they could do. Um, that way, next turn, we could just go Uro with almost no concerns in the world. Yeah, like no concerns in the world. All right, on to round three, one and one
Alrighty, on the play. Round two, we uh, mulligan because we have a tap land that can get wastelanded in this, uh, I mean. Yeah. Alright, I mean, this hand's alright. Um. I don't really like it because it doesn't do anything. I gotta say, Earl is pretty degenerate in Legacy. That dude has been a one man wrecking crew this entire league so far. Every game we've won, it feels like at least. I mean, it really sucks. I think we're playing against probably Basic Swamp and Inquisition. It's probably like Mono Black Pox or some weird thing like that. It's a card of Snapcaster, which is kind of surprising. It tells me they're pro. Well, that's a problem. Well, double swamp means they are definitely mono black something. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? I don't want to play Teferi yet. I don't know what they're doing. black are they mono black like I don't want to fetch this way but I think I have to it is dangerous that it does fizzle our draw but I don't know what they're doing they got one card left Okay, welcome to Hellbent City, population both of us, well hello, we drew the removal spell for the Dark Depths, so I feel better now. I mean, our opponents played well, they've, they've managed to disassemble our entire hand. <laughs> oh shit, is that the game we're playing now? Obviously, had we known we had Swords to Plashers on top of our library, I would have uh, held back the force. I mean, I can't stop the ley line, so it happens. It does suck because Earl is one of our best wins from here. Fucking speak of the devil. I mean, I get. I think we still play it. Like, I don't. I don't think we just choose not to play it. There we go. Like, it does suck that we lose him there, but.
Yep. Quaddle. Ponder. No. Let's get another island. I could definitely see a major argument for getting the second tundra so that we could hold up council's judgment. Not hold up, but have up council's judgment. Yep. I'll be here a while. So there's some kind of, they're just mono black depths, is what they are, I guess. Oh, we got a counter spell for it. I'll keep it. Plus, they gotta draw like two things. Truly really punish us here. Rough turn. Nope, you can keep that. Cool. Well, we win. He's about to draw a swamp. Alright, mono black depths. So indestructible. Token. Um. Again, they're a mono-colored deck. I guess maybe Wilt could have a text box. Oh, we know we got to cut another card. Never mind. Um. I kind of want to cut both of you. Maybe. Um. Let's bring in Meddling Mage. Actually, Meddling Mage naming Vampire Hex Mage seems pretty decent. <laughs> And obviously our plan to beat Leyline is just Jace like that. Um. See now, we don't have any forces and we don't have a swords, which makes me want a mulligan. But we have Brainstorm. And I'll keep it. That makes our hand worse. That makes our hand a lot fucking worse. You just take Brainstorm here and pass. Like, there's no other card in our entire hand that matters. Just fucking, yeah, there you go. Good call, opponent, good call. Jesus, yep. Mainboard Ley Lines, plus now hitting it opening hand post, -gate, post uh, round one is pretty tough. 
Fucking duress, man. All right, well, hip narset. Am I gonna have the snappy just to try and beat down here? Doesn't feel like a good way to win this game. I mean, force negation's all right. Herb orc, nice. Ritual, sure. Well, why are you being buggy all of a sudden? Tropic. All right, you got one card in hand. So Helm of Beatings, by the way, for those who don't know, target opponent mills a card and repeats this process until a creature card or X cards that have been put into their graveyard this way. Whichever comes first, if one or more cards were put into a graveyard this way, sacrifice Helm of Obedience and put one of them on the battlefield under your control. X can't be zero. So they pay one and mill us for one card, but nothing hits the graveyard because of the ley line. So they win. Yes, yield. Um, let's just draw both cards. Like, we're already just outright dead to a... Attack from whatchamacallit. Is it us being laggy or is it our opponent? I feel like it's us because we have so much less time on our clock. Ice Fang. Hmm. Um. Put on top. Put on top. Also quite nice now having force of will to cast off of or to cast with negation. Mm. If we just go to end zone, I'm gonna fetch, grab a tundra. I'm gonna just cycle for two. Nice. Alright. Sylvan Library. Teferi. Ooh, boy. Alright, let's go... Top. Get greedy and pay four. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Fuck. For the record, I 100% didn't mean to do that. For the record. Just saying. I'll go to Forest. Big Poppy Teff. Perfect. Yep. Alright, we got there. Two and one. On to the next round. Alright, opponent reveals Garuda. Which means they're playing a bunch of zero mana stuff, for sure. Um, I'll keep this hand. I... I do want to preface this by saying I am not sure what we're getting into. 
But I think this hand's good. Oh, what the fuck is this? Ah, oh, okay. I'm not gonna shuffle. Probably gonna take. Mm hmm. It's a four mana already. Five mana. Okay. Put Giruda in the hand. Snapcaster is the next card. Which, for the record, I don't mind drawing Snapcaster. Okay. Cavern is good. Here comes Giruda. Can't be countered, so we can't counter it with Force. Do we have to do we have to swords it now? I think we do, right? Can we put the second force back? I don't. Because we can still snap. I'll say I would be so upset if we lose because we just totally hit. Oh no. Now let's keep going, right? <sighs> mm hmm. Well, that's the win, right? Dragon Lord. So basics, surgical extraction, relics, possibly. Meddling Major seems pretty good here. Um, judgment seems like it's not going to be great. Veil vale doesn't seem like it's going to matter. Not confident in force negation. Definitely not confident in spell pierce. And not confident in carpet. Maybe. I mean, they killed us before we even got our third turn, so. We're gonna play first. They're gonna build Jeruda again. We're going to keep now we got a mulligan. I think this hand's better. I know, it's tough to say though. Yeah, shuffle. Not a card I wanted either. May have first hand was better to keep. I don't know. I think we might have fucked this one up.
if they got all these fuckers in their hand, we're in trouble. Nope, okay. Just putting Druid into play. Alright, let's go, Quaddle. Important. Shuffle. Just gonna fetch. I don't know if it really makes a difference. Yeah, I draw four. Us, unfortunately. Now we're fucking dead anyway. I guess we gotta hope they just fucking whiff. I don't I don't even fucking know what to say. Metamorph. Sakasushi. Fucking resto. They got us. All right, on to the final round. All right, final round on the play. Mulligan. Really? Really, deck? We got a mulligan again. Alright, I mean, I'm going to keep this. I'm going to put this back. I think I'm going to put the force negation back. Actually, let's put this in carpet back because we don't know if they're going to be a blue deck. I mean, statistically, they're probably a blue deck because that's modern or that's, I mean, legacy. But. Oh, hey, you know what? I forgot to do this entire time. I forgot to put up the deck list. So it should be up on your screen now. I'm so bad at doing that. No wonder you guys don't ever tell me what, if you like it or not, because I never remember to do it. Oh, that's not what I want to see. I never want to see a freaking flooded strand. To me, Control Mirrors is one of the most boring matches ever in Legacy. Um, let's say fuck it and go for it. Uro. No, of course not. That definitely sucks, but I mean, it is what it is. Hmm. Yo, fuck their damn Esper Delver list or something. Hmm. That's fucking annoying. All right, let's draw something good. Land's great. Like, actually, land is great there. Because at this point, we are... One land away from Uro. It looks like Grixis Delver. Mm, that's fine. Brainstorm. Lot of fine land, son of a. Alright, 
I'm going to draw. Now we are going to go here. I'm going to force the stifle. This is a prime example of putting all your eggs into one fucking basket. I'm not going to fetch again because I can't afford to have it wastelanded. Oh, they reveal stifle here. I'm going to have to fetch in response to it. Okay. Take one. Fucking Grimag. Okay. Land. I fucking hate this deck. Uh, please just flip and get this over with quickly. Yes, sir. That's what we're going to do. Ate me. I'm not going to bolt the pond. I'm not going to force the ponder. Maybe I should because they have two cards in hand besides it. I don't know. Well, now I want to fucking concede because they're going to wasteland me and we're going to lose the fucking game. Okay. So. Starting cuts. Y'all fucking out. You... All potentially in. So, weakest links over here, most likely is over here. So, four other cards that are meh. So, actually, I don't think there are any other cards that are meh. I think I just like these. Yeah, honestly, I think I just like it like this. They're definitely more of a deck that Back to Basics can punish. Yeah, just cleaning up without the seven forces are nice. Doesn't mean we don't have as many counter spells, but. All right. Well, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Part of me really does. Uh... I don't know why there's Relic in this one, Mason. I don't Actually, the more thing about Relic, the worse this card is. We should be playing something like... Um... What's that card? Um... Shoot, what is it called? Soul Guide Lantern. That's card we should be playing the sideboard, not not Relic. No, I'm wrong. I like Relic for what it does. The ticking individual cards out of their graveyard each turn against like Storm is pretty okay. But. This can get a Tundra. Or not Tundra. Um, tropical. That's what I was saying. Ah, the Canadian Masks version of Brainstorm is so beautiful. The border, the art, man, the whole entire thing is just so amazing. Mm. 
drop. Boom. Beautiful. I do love me some lands. Fetch an eight. Snow covered forest here. I'm just gonna Uro. Kind of sucks. Terminus is definitely a card we don't want to ever draw. Mm hmm. Yep. Plaguey G. Sure. Snake. It's a snake. All right, let's exile your bin. Now, in order to try to minimize the amount of damage, ooh. First, let's do this. To ferry. They are fetching. Elemental blast. Bingo. It happens, nothing we can do about it. Um, Fortunately, this does mean I can't anytime soon play Uro because we did fetch the planes. But I didn't want to get wastelanded, was the problem. White's a little too important for us to just risk getting wastelanded off of. You fucking surgical me, bro. Motherfucker. Oh! You know what you could have done Zed, you fuckhead? You could have just cracked the relic. Then you'd have two Uros left in the deck. Yep. Welcome to I'm a fucking idiot. Population literally just me. Okay, days down. Yep. Oh, man, Plague Engineer is such a good card. I mean, thankfully, we only play two snakes in the entire deck, so it's not that good, but still. It's a really good card. Yep. Yeah, I'm not... I don't feel too bad about our position we're in. Yeah, the, the big thing was there. We punted with the relic... Casting force. Nice. Uh, I didn't veil there because I don't particularly want to spend the veil yet. Um, in retrospect, probably better just have a 2 1 than to not have anything at all, but 
I'd kind of like to save it more so for like if we try to Jace. Brainstorm. But I also kind of got a little too... I, I had that set in my mind ahead of time of... I just really want to... Have Veil in case we draw Jace or something like that to protect. And I kind of just went for it. Um, or just didn't go for it. And maybe it's better to have the 2-1 than nothing. Since they are currently just digging through their deck. We could also cantrip this Veil if we wanted to right now. By trying to just draw a card off of it. I think I'm going to do that. Because I just really want to find another white source. Well, now I'm going to regret that because they're going to probably have a counterspell for my Teferi. Alright, they're just getting a token out of it. I can respect that. Bounce it. Getting our immediate value. And our set. I'll also take down and get immediate value now. And I'm going to pick Sylvan Library. Because we still just can't cast Terminus. <clears throat> they spend the bolt to our face, which does mean they'll likely not be able to bolt... Nar set down. Hopefully. Yeah, that doesn't affect me very much at this point, though, to be honest. Tick down. Definitely carpet. Attempt carpet. Play library. Yes, white mana. Terminus. I mean, again, this is a situation where it just feels like there's so much against them. I get it. Ooh, yeah, and we're drawing a Jace's. Yeah. Submit it back the same way. This is a fun matchup. I'm glad it was Delver. I was really scared it was going to be another Snow Control or Blue Light Control deck. But it's not. I'm glad it's Snow Control. I mean, it's Delver, not Snow Control. Or Snow Miracles or just Miracles or just Control. This has been fun. I'm really glad. I, I really like stepping into Legacy a little bit every now and then. Um, sometimes you're going to get those leagues like the Dead Guy AL League where we just get the fuck kicked out of us. And the Grixis one where I just don't really know what I'm doing very well. And we kind of stumble through it. Other times you're going to get dope-ass leagues like this. And like the Esper Mentor ones. And, or not Esper Mentor ones. The uh, Esper Vile ones and the Esper Mentor ones. So, Mason, I really appreciate that you put out or you asked for these, these Legacy Leagues. Um, because it's nice, you know, it's, it's really nice. Oof. I think we keep this hand. It sounds really good. I do think I want a relic here though. I think I want to, I don't want to just slam into the, car the carpet into a counter spell. Or worse, my Misty into a stupid stifle. I mean, most of these Delver decks don't take out their stifles. That's nice, though. I will fetch. If they fetch and stifle me here, it's okay. I have a backup. There, they're going to fucking stifle me. 
That doesn't surprise me much, to be honest. It is going to suck getting stifled here, but it is what it is. Looking for lands, to be honest. Now that is an aggressive line, an aggressive stance to take against my mana base, and I like it. I'm a big fan of that. Like, I'm not just saying that. I, I really mean it. I'm a big fan of that. I think they're taking a super aggressive stance, and I think it's wonderful. Perfect. I will use it. I... will make blue mana and I'll actually just... pass the turn. I was going to try to kill this now, but I don't think I want to. I don't think we're there yet. See, that's annoying. Grafter's Cage is pretty annoying. Because it actually stops what I was planning on doing this turn, too. Delver's fine. Alright, Sylvan Library is good. Yes. White. Library. Swords you. Swords you. I will admit, we don't have a wilt or anything, so we can't actually just destroy this. Always yes, always yield. Put on top. Pay the four. Yes, blue mana. There's another ponder on top, right? I'm gonna ponder, see what we're looking at. Beautiful. I do not want to shuffle, actually. I, in fact, want to try to slam a back to basics. The last cards in hand were force and force. Okay, which means I will not be putting a land for Wasteland to be dealing with. And it was Tundra, and what was the last card? Or Ponder and... Oh, yeah, okay, I like both these. Um, let's go ahead. Top. Top. Yes, blue. Ice Fang. I'll ponder. And we will... Ooh, Shark Typhoon. We're almost hard casting you, too. Okay, let's go bottom. Bottom, bottom. Do not shuffle. Put you in a play. And we'll pass the turn. 
taking this a little slower. But I do want to work my way up to Shark Typhoon mana. Put on top. Put on top. Yes. Blue mana. Uro. We're not grabbing that. Red and black, I don't think they'll have an answer for Shark Typhoon. They might though. I guess I should have thought that through before I actually just did it, but whatever. To ferry the time raveler. Top pay four. Yes, yes. Blue. Cast Typhoon. Wow. That is a surprise. We got the 3 2. All right. Well, I mean, Shark Typhoon is hard for them to beat. So, that was fun. I really enjoyed that deck. Um, I'm not going to lie. Uh, this is definitely one of my favorite Legacy decks we've played in a while. I still like the Esper Vile deck a lot better, but this deck was sweet. I really liked it. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let me know what you guys think of the list. Uh, the only card in the list I personally have an issue with is Relic. Again, I'll admit I did see a line where it would have been helpful to having the relic, but I and I did misplay in that scenario. We should have cracked the relic with the surgical on the stack, um, especially since we were going to probably end up cracking the relic anyway soon. But yeah, um, other than that though, I gotta say the deck's a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, I love the one shark typhoon. Um, kind of iffy on the two quadle. I kind of wish we had more, but at the same time, it worked out fine. Um, nice one of council judgment stuff like that. Carpet of flowers, busted ass card. I don't, I, that card should not, that card should really not exist. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did hit the like button, if you want to see more videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.